or something. You're you're running. You're the opponent. So what are your grievances against Supervisor Maxig? Why should voters choose you to replace him? So that was the issue that got us in this position. You're right. But I sat in Board of Supervisors meetings all of 2023 and watched the entire board ignore the voice of the people. And it started with limited public comment, but also listening to community organizers and advocates talk about issues that they brought directly to the board. And in District 5, it was things like Friant Millerton Road, uh, roads up in the mountain communities that are not being fixed, that are very dangerous. Um, in, in the other cities, you know, anything rural outside of Fresno and the city of Clovis, uh, inattention, neglect, if you will, and watching that happen over and over again with different groups um, is what put the stamp on it that, yeah, I'll pull nomination papers and we'll do that, you know, and we said, you need to listen to the voice of the people. And that particular Parents Matter Act had 2,000 opposed people signing petitions, writing letters, librarians from all over Fresno County, and it was just ignored. We got, they gave 20 minutes, two minutes per person, and there were dozens and dozens of people lined up to talk on this issue. And that's not just for this issue. That's for SEIU workers from 2015 asking for a living wage.